G'day guys, today we're going to start installing a Truma um, Vario Heat gas room heater in the retreat caravan. It's brand new, it's the Whit Sunday 226R, whatever that means. I've never been to the Whit Sundays, but it sounds great. Um, it's really nice working on a new van actually, all the gas was compliant and there was no gas leaks and stuff. Um, one thing about this one we've done a little bit differently is the bed was considerably much higher than all the other caravans that we've put um, Truma uh, Vario Heats in. Uh, and that gave us the opportunity, I thought, to maybe install the Truma on its edge, which frees up a lot more room. But I'll show you how it worked out uh, now. Play the logo. G'day, I'm Ben from Beautiful Plumbing. Okay, like I said before, today we're installing um, the new Truma Vario Heat in this uh, retreat caravan. Now, um, I must say it was really nice working on a new van. Now, this van was um, ordered brand new, and so all the colours and stuff um, are just beautiful, like uh, probably one of the most favorite vans I've ever worked on. I tell you, if I ever get a new van um, that I get to order the leather and the type of, you know, bench benches and, and all that sort of stuff, I'll be definitely giving uh, the owner of this, uh, Wendy, I'll be giving you a call to um, help me do the interior decorating because it all looks all looks just, just beautiful and uh, nice. Of course, my wife's going to have veto rights on that. But um, anyway, yeah, so one interesting about this one, the bed was heaps higher, um, which gave us a lot, a lot more room. Um, that means that we could sit the Vario heat on its edge and then the piping could go out and it, there was a little space probably about this much in between the where the you know the cupboard underneath the bed and also the cupboard on the on the side you know the little cupboard for your cords and stuff like that so the good thing about it is when that when it was on the edge we had enough uh, the radius of the pipe was was really good and that means it would sweep under and go to the top of the cupboard um, and that means that the cupboard is still usable because that pipe's not down the bottom. You don't have to fold anything up to protect it or anything like that. And so the great thing about it too, when the bed is shut and even you, you, don't, see, you don't see the vent going out the wall or along the floor or anything like the other ones, okay? And also the cupboard is still usable. Even if you open the cupboard, you can't even see that there's a vent going through. So yeah, worked out really well. Um, the gap between, there's a little drawer at the front of the bed okay and there was a gap just enough for the for the heat um you know the, the heat duct to blow the heat out that just fitted in there i had to drill it on a slight angle and chew into the middle partition a little bit but you can't see it from the other side so i was, I was really happy with how to how it all worked out blew straight down the aisle which is great um, my mate glenn from next door he sorted out all the wiring um, and what he does is he runs a separate um, power cable line all the way from the uh, battery, so it'll be a separate line from the battery all the way to the Truma Vario Heat, which is which is great. Uh, it's a good way of doing it. Um, he's got that special machine that um, like it's like a weaves all the like puts a sheaf around the I don't know I don't know what they call it, but a sheaf around the whole all the wiring cable, so it looks like a wiring loom that you, you you'd find in all your Toyotas and stuff like this. So it's an expensive machine, but he he, he does it properly and it um, worked out great. He put the okay. controller up next to the bed as usual, so when you're in bed, you can turn it off, turn it on, or you know, if you're super cold or whatever, crank it up in, in the mornings. So yeah, very cool. Worked out really well. Uh, one thing I was a bit disappointed with, there was the screws were missing on the uh, vent, okay, uh, the, 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 the flue cowl. So I've had to use some four mil, um, just steel ones. Um, so you know, if they were black, that'd be great, but I'm sure they can sort that out next time. Very easy, just take those out and put those in. So. But other than that, um, turned out really nicely, plenty of space. So if you do have a higher bed, it's a really good option if we could put it on the edge, sort it all out and get it going. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching. If you want a Vario heat installed in your van because it's getting cold and it just, it really does extend the, extend the times you can use, your, um, use your, can, you know, your, your caravan because when it is super cold, you can still use it, you know, not be like, oh, it's too cold to go out. Because uh, most of the time you've got your air con, most vans have air cons, but not many have the Vario heats, but if you want one of these installed, call your local plumber or your gas fitter, get him to do it. But you're, if you're in Perth, um, we're just located in Welshville now, got a great um, warehouse uh, set up for it with all the parts and everything. So if you want us to do it, give us a call, drop it off and we'll um, sort it out for you. Okay guys, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.